it's the first thing people are gonna see. It's, I mean, you know, it's, it's a thing that welcomes them. It's the thing that when your kids come running in from school, they see in it. I don't know. I think it sets the mood. It sets the mood for a house. So that's why I kind of change it up. And I mean, springtime is a great time to put pops of color and a little bit of your creativity and love onto your front door. That's right. Yes, yes. Nice draft. It's like vaguely, vaguely wintry holiday. Ew. And no one, the worst part is no one can see my doorbell. No one can see my doorbell. I can do it. I can make this door better. I can make this door a happy door, a springy door. That's right. I am that person. I am that person who changes their front door decor depending on the season. I am. It's corny, it's queer, and I love it. Okay, so I, I'm not sure for sure what I'm gonna do, but I've got some old branches. Some springy, springy ribbon. And a whole collection of uh, flowers that I got at the 99 cent store. that I got for three dollars. Look at if you clip off those individual flower heads, you have a great way to tie them in and around the sticks. And I just tied a ribbon around the center where I put the wire and I did it two different pieces. One that I kind of wrapped up and around another that I kind of wrapped and let dangle downward. And there you have it. My welcome to spring front door arrangement. I think that's pretty welcoming. I do. Remember, if you keep it simple, it can't go wrong.